Hello and welcome back to Object Oriented Programming with Java. So, in the last video, we came across a static method which was main. So, I think it's a very good time to talk about static and instance methods. So, we wrote one method in the last uh, programming session. So, we wrote the print method and we called it like this z1.print. And because Z1 is an instance of the complex class, if you remember, uh, print is called an instance method. So this is an instance method. The other type of methods are called static methods. But before we look at that, let's consider something like complex. dot print this doesn't really make any sense right because the complex class itself does not have uh, any values for the real and imaginary part it's every instance that has values so uh, this really doesn't make so much sense so but what if we had something like an attribute called size and let's just assume that every complex number has a size of 8 bytes I'm just doing this because I've got two floats in there and each one of them is 4 bytes but this is almost certainly going to be wrong but let's just stick with 8 bytes for now and uh, let's just say we make this private so this is going to be private and uh, this need not be different for every instance right this uh, the size of every instance is going to be same so a size is the property of the complex class itself so size is related to the complex class itself and not to every instance so what we do is we make size as static and uh, let's say we make a method called uh, get size we'll make that static so I'll have something like public static let's say int get size and this method will just return me the size but now what I can do what I can do is something like this which is complex dot get size and this makes perfect sense now because the size is related to the complex uh, class itself so this makes sense I think that's it about static and instance methods but there's just one last point that I need to point out and I'll end this video with that. Uh, the point is that static methods can only access other static methods and static attributes of the class. So this basically means that uh, a static method like get size will not be able to access real or imaginary which makes sense because we sometimes call uh, something like complex dot get size without even making an instance of uh, the complex class so let's say we don't have a z1 z2 z3 anything and we just want the size how much size it's going to take in memory so I would do complex dot get size without even having an instance so there is no real or imaginary part of any complex number yet so uh, I can't access real or imaginary inside of get size and we'll be doing this in the next programming session but before that there'll be a quick video on overloading method overloading and I'll see you next time then.